Hi all, most of you will be familiar with Google Translation. The problem with Google Translation is it is a generic translation. So consider the case if we have a specific use case that deals with this particular domain, you cannot use Google Translation always because the accuracy will be less if it is considering some specific domains like mathematical uh, things or some medical things etc. So considering that case, we have to train a custom translation model. Today I will be explaining how to do that in AutoML Translate, which is the custom translation platform of Google Cloud. First, we need to give a billing account, giving our debit or credit card details so that they will provide uh, some days and some specific amount for our free trial. I will provide the link in description box, sign in first and then you will get this page. You have to enable billing for the project. Click on create billing account, you will get this page, select countries India and uh, the application as a personal project. Then give the account type as individual and then give your payment uh, things, debit card details or debit credit card details and then proceed with the verification process an email will be coming to your mail id uh, go to the particular email and verify uh, the details when you get the verification confirmation email from google you can proceed with this go to the link again and you will be able to enable the translation api then go to dashboard you will be able to go to auto ml translation now Okay, next thing is we need to add a data set. If you are giving a very good data set, uh, the results of custom translation will be very good. Now I am giving a small data set. So give the name of uh, data set by clicking on create data set and then give name and then select the language prayer. Translating from English to Spanish. I am providing a data set of English to Spanish translation so I am giving details like that then click on create now you can import your file I am uploading it as a TSV file it is having uh, the English sentence and then after a tab it is having the Spanish conversion of the English test and the new line uh, will be having new sentence pairs it is saved as a .tsv file and I will provide an example in the description box I am uploading the TSV file, browse and select the TSV file. Then we have to give the bucket location in the cloud storage, create a bucket, give some name for the bucket, then choose where to store your data. Select a region and select a location as US center and click on continue uh, selecting the languages uh, standard and then proceeding okay the bucket is selected you have to click on the folder and then click select and click on continue uploading is going on it will take some time by clicking on sentences you will be able to see the data then click on train, I have 1362 train data, uh, 170 validation and test data. The data is quite less, so the accuracy will not be much in this case. If you have a good data set, you can upload that. Then click on train and start training. It will take some hours. Once it is completed, you will get a mail in your mail ID. After training completion, click on evaluate. You will be able to see the BLEU score of the generic Google translation and the custom trained translation. In this case, since the data set was less, Google NMT has BLEU more. If you have a good data set of sentence pairs, the BLU of our uh, custom train model will be higher so that we can use it for specific needs. To see the results, you can click on predict and then type your English sentence. 
corresponding custom model translated text and Google NMD model translated text will be shown here. If you have a good data set, the custom model tra uh, translated text will have more accuracy and be a LEO score. In this case, both of them are almost similar. So today I have explained the steps to create a custom translation model. We have used AutoML Translate of Google Cloud Platform for that. Thank you for watching.